Hello everyone, welcome back to Pabli. So if you also want to manage your team, manage your task and project and enhance the productivity of your team members, then here you are in the right place because today we are going to learn how to automate Todoist using Pabli Connect. So Todoist is an amazing and popular task and project management application which helps to streamline all your tasks projects management and helps you to enhance the productivity of your team. So by setting up a simple connection between Todoist and Pabli Connect, you can automate all your repetitive tasks which are involved in your task management, project management and your clients. So if you also want to learn this amazing automation step by step, for that you have to come towards my screen. Welcome to my screen everyone. As I told you in this video, we are going to learn how to automate Todoist with the help of Pabli Connect. So in this video, I'm going to show you step by step that how you can set up a connection between Todoist and Pabli Connect to automate all your repetitive tasks which are involved in your task and project management. Okay, so as you know, Todoist is a popular task management application which is designed to help individuals and teams organize their tasks, projects and goals in a simple and efficient way. It's widely used for personal productivity, project management and team collaboration. So when you will set up the connection between your Todoist and Pabli Connect, you will be able to automate all these tasks which are involved in managing your task. So automating Todoist using Pabli Connect offers significant benefits that can enhance your productivity and task management efficiency. Okay, by setting up this automation, you can automatically create, update or organize tasks in Todoist based on triggers from the other application, reducing the manual efforts required to keep your track list up to date. And this means that you can automatically create tasks in your Todoist account from emails, calendar events, Slack messages or other project management tools directly. Creating this automation is going to help you to prioritize your work, assigning tasks to the right person of your team members and track the performances. Now, let's get started quickly here because we are going to use Pabli Connect to create this amazing automation. We'll move towards the home page of Pabli Connect. On this home page, you can reach by tapping the URL pabli.com slash connect. Basically, Pabli Connect is an amazing automation and integration software which helps us to automate all the repetitive tasks which are involved in our business without the requirement of any coding and programming by simply setting up connections between multiple work applications. Now, after coming on this home page, you will simply find two options, sign in and sign up for free. If you are an existing user, you can directly click on sign in to log into your account but if you are a new user you have to click on this sign up for free button which is going to create your free new account just in two minutes once you will create your account you will get 100 free tasks every month to explore this amazing software and to test multiple automations as an existing user here currently i'm going to click on sign in this is all app section where we can find all the products which are offered by pabli to create this automation we are going to use pabli connect so let's click on access now it is going to take us towards the dashboard of Pabli Connect. So on this dashboard, you will be able to find all your workflows which you have created. And you can also create different folders over here to save your workflows systematically and separately. Now, to create a new workflow, you need to click on this create workflow option. Let's do that quickly. Here, a dialog box is appear in front of us, which is asking us to provide a name to this workflow. So I'm going to give a name over here. How to automate Todoist using Pabli Connect. After giving a name to my workflow, I'm going to select the folder in which I want to save this workflow. So you can see I have multiple folders folders over here. Among these folders, I am going to select automations for task management and we will simply click on create. As we have done that here, you can see that two windows are open in front of us. First is the trigger and the other is action. So what are trigger and actions? Trigger and actions are the two main concepts, the principles or the entire building blocks on which the entire automation works. The trigger says when this happens and the action says do this. That means the action is the response towards our trigger. So whatever we are going to select in our trigger is going to command the entire workflow and the actions are going to follow that same command. Therefore, we can have only one trigger in any workflow, but we can add as many action steps as we want. Now we can use Todoist in both the ways. We can add Todoist in trigger as well as an action. So if you are adding Todoist in your trigger step, then on the happening of any of the event inside Todoist, you are going to receive the response and you can transfer that response to any other application automatically. Okay, but if you are using Todoist in your action step, then on receiving of any of the response from any of the application, you can transfer that response towards Todoist to create your task, update your task or delete your task according to your requirements. Okay, so here we are going to learn in this video both the ways. I'm going to show you step by step that how you can set up the connection between your Todoist account and Public Connect as triggered as well as how you can add Todoist in your action. 
So let's get started. First of all, let's suppose we are using to do list and trigger. So I want that as soon as a task will be deleted or will be updated in my to do list account, I want to capture the response. And with that response, I want to create a record in Google Sheets. Basically, I want to create all the completed task record in my Google Sheets. So I'm going to take to do list in my trigger and let's say Google Sheets in my action step. When we are going to set up a connection between these applications, we can clearly see that action is going to follow what the trigger command. Because when the trigger happens, that means when a task is completed inside to do list, then only the details of that task will be added in Google Sheets, otherwise not. So after understanding the whole concept of trigger and action, let us start creating the setup. First of all, we are learning how to set up connection between Todoist and Public Connect as trigger. So we'll move towards our trigger step. We will select our trigger application that is Todoist. So let's select that. Now we have to build the connection. So here, first of all, let us select the trigger event. Trigger event is the event on the happening of which the workflow is going to trigger or it is going to start. You can see we have list of options, new task, new update, task updated, task completed, new project, project updated, and etc. So on the happening of whichever event you want to capture the response, you have to select that. I want that whenever a task will be completed in my to list account, then I want to capture the response. So here I have selected my event. As we have done that, here we have received a webhook URL and also we have received some instructions. We just have to follow the instructions given over here carefully to set up the connection. It is saying that first of all, you need to log into your to list account, which I have already done. Then you have to click on create a new app button at the app management console. So what you will do? You We'll simply copy this webhook URL because it is going to act as a bridge for transferring the data of tasks completed from Todoist towards Public Connect. And then you will simply click on this hyperlink app management console. After coming over here, first of all, I'm going to translate the application into English. Okay, and then here we have to create a new app. So let's click on this create a new app button. Here you have to give a name to your app. So I'm going to give a name, let's say task completed. So for whichever reason you are setting up the connection, you can give the name to your app according to that. Then here we'll simply click on create app. As you have done that, here we have received some details, client ID, client secret, other details. So you just have to scroll down. Over here you will see the option of create test token. You have to click on that. And here the test token is created. Then we'll scroll down and here we have to enter the webhook callback URL. We will simply paste the URL which we have copied from Pabli Connect and done. Here the webhook version will be V9 and here we have to select the very important thing that is watched event. Here we have to select the event on the happening of which we want to send a response towards Pabli Connect with the help of this URL. So I want that whenever the task will be completed, the response should be sent. So item completed will be my watched event over here. Then we'll simply click on activate webhook. And here our webhook setup is successfully done. As we have done that, now we'll move back towards Babli Connect. It is showing waiting for webhook response. This means that now, once we have set up the connection, every time a task will be completed inside Todoist, the response will be captured. So I'm going to take you towards my Todoist account. Here we'll go towards the task section. Here we are already on the task section. So this is the project in which I have multiple tasks. What I will do, I will simply complete one of these tasks. As we have done that, we'll go back towards Pabli Connect to check whether the response is captured or no. And yes, here the response is immediately and automatically captured. In this response, you can see we have received all the details. Here we have received the version 9. Here we have the user ID. When we'll scroll down, here we have the in initiator ID. We have some other details as well. Okay, when we'll scroll down, here we have the name of the task, the description of the task, okay, the due date of the task and all other details. This means that our connection is absolutely successful. Here we have set up the connection between Todoist and Public Connect in Trigger. In the similar manner, here I have taken the trigger event as task completed, but you can take any other event if you want. Okay, in the similar manner, you have to perform the connection and your work will be done. So every time a new task will be completed, we are going to receive the response. We will be able to automatically transfer this response to any other application by adding the action applications like this in the action steps. Okay, done. Now we'll move forward towards setting up the connection between Todoist and Public Connect as action. Okay, so we'll move forward quickly. So here, let's suppose my objective is that I am preparing. So here, let's suppose I am managing a social media team. So let's suppose I'm managing a marketing team of a software company and I am preparing a spreadsheet in order to maintain the task details. Okay, so I want that as soon as I'm going to add a new task in a new row along with all the details in this particular spreadsheet, then on based of these details, a new task should be created in a particular project of my then based on these details, a new task should be automatically created in a particular project of my Todoist account. Okay, in this way, I'm going to manage all the tasks. In this way, I want to manage the task and the assignment of these tasks to my team members. Okay, so here I'm going to set up the connection between Google Sheets and Todoist. I've already done that. You can see I have taken the response from Google Sheets as Google Sheets in my trigger. So here I want that as soon as a new row will be added in the spreadsheet, the response will be captured. So, so, so the response is already received. In this response, you can see we have received the task name. Here we have the name of the sheet here we have all of the details the due date of the task and this is the description 
So by using this response, now I want to create a new task in Todoist. So basically, we are going to learn how to use Todoist in action steps. So here I've already taken the application in my action application. So here I've already taken my action application as Todoist and also I've selected the action event. Here you have multiple events you can see, create a new label, create a new project, create a project comment, create a task comment and etc. I have selected create a new task from these options but you can select any of them according to your choice. Okay, then we'll set up the connection. So how we are going to do that by clicking on this connect button. We have two options. Now to build a new connection with Todoist account, you have to provide a token. If in case if you already have an existing connection, you can also go with that. How we are going to get this token, for that you have to log into your Todoist account as I told you then you have to click on this hyperlink given over here from here you will find your API key which you have to paste it over there it has taken us towards the settings section over here we have the option of developer we have to select that and here we have the token so let's copy the token we'll move back towards public connect and paste it over here quickly as we have done that here we have to simply click on save to build this connection in a similar manner you have to find out your API key from the developer section of your Todoist account okay as we have done that, Todoist is successfully connected with Pabli Connect. Now we need to enter the details in these fields to create the task. Okay, so first of all, it is asking us the content. That means the name of the task, the title of the task. So what we will do, we have already received the task in our earlier response. Okay, we have received all the details related to the task. Here we have the name of the task. Here we have the description, as I told you, and the data as well. So by using this response, we are going to enter the detail. So by using this response only, we are going to enter the details. We are not going to enter them manually. We will simply map the data. Here we have our previous response. Here we have all of the details. So what we want, we want the name of the task which is given over here so we'll select that and it is mapped as we map this data it has become dynamic that means with each and every new response it is going to replace automatically so now whenever a new response will be captured from google sheets whenever a new data will be added over there related to task in our google sheets and the response will be captured immediately and automatically the details which we are going to map over here are going to replace and in this way we are going to automate the entire process of task creation from google sheets okay now here the next is description so we'll map the description in the similar manner in case if we will enter the details which we are entering over here manually then it will become static and then the data is not going to replace okay in this way we will not be able to automate the entire process then here you can select the project in which specific project you want to create these tasks you can see i have a list of projects over here to do is integration stripe payments testing project jira issues and etc so i want to create these tasks so i want to create these tasks from google sheets in this to do is integration project i have selected that okay then we'll move forward some of the details are non-mandatory so we can ignore them here if you want here you have to enter the date it is given over here that you need to use one of these fields human readable representation such as next monday tomorrow or like this or you can enter simply a due date or you have to enter the due date time so here one of these we have to use i'm going to use this due date field just in which i'm going to enter the date okay so here i have already received the date in my google sheets response i will simply map the date over here because we have to enter the date in the year month and date format only Okay, so you have to keep in mind that if you have not received the date in the correct format, you have to format the date with the help of date time formatter. After doing this, if you want, you can select the priority. So I'm going to select important over here as a priority. And I will simply click on save and send test request button. As we have done that, here we have received the response. And here we have also received the die. And here we have also received the ID of the task. So I'm going to take you towards to do it and we will see whether the task social media calendar is created over there or no. So I'm going to refresh this field for one. And yes, here we can see that a new task is created over here. Here we have the name of the task, social media calendar. Here we have the due date. And here we also have the description. This means that our connection is absolutely successful between Google Sheets and Todoist. In this way, you have to use Todoist in your action step. I hope you have understood that how you can simply set up a connection between Todoist and Pabli Connect to automate all your repetitive tasks. You can use Todoist in both the sections in trigger as well as in action according to your choice. If you want that on the happening of a specific event inside Todoist, you want to send the response to any other application. For example, when a new task will be created in your Todoist account, let's suppose you want to send the message on your Slack channel to your team members so you can take to do it in your trigger and slack in your action in the similar manner according to your use case you can take any of the applications in action when you're taking to do it in your trigger step and also in the similar manner you can take to do it in your action step if you want to share the response towards to do it from any other application as we have done here with the help of google trees so i hope this connection is helpful for you and it is clear to you thank you for watching 
Not only these applications, but you can integrate multiple such applications without any coding or programming skills with the help of Pabli Connect. Now, if you have any doubt, you can reach out to us at support at the rate pabli.com. If you want to ask any query, you can reach out to us at forum.pabli.com. And if you have any pricing related issue, you can reach out to the website given over here. Now, if you find this video helpful, do not forget it to share it with your friends. And also, please like our video and subscribe our channel for more such amazing automations.